Hello everyone, Shmoji here. Today I'm going to teach you how to create a functioning navigation bar using React. The nav bar will be a sidebar because I didn't want to do a header this time. However, there will be a header in the project just like you see here. If you prefer reading tutorials and having code to copy and paste directly, I recommend you check out my post on medium.com. It follows this video exactly. If you want all of the code at once, I recommend checking out the GitHub repository. Link in the description. If you already know how to set up a basic React app, I recommend looking in the description to find what time to skip to in the video. I will try to make this as quick as possible, but as informative as possible too. So let's get started. First of all, you need to open the command line and make sure you have npm downloaded. I indeed do. I will leave links in the description to help you with downloads and setup. Now go into a folder where you would like to store your project. I keep mine in a React Workspace folder. Then create your React app. npm init react app navbar tut. After that is done, you want to open your project in an IDE. I use Visual Studio Code because it is amazing, but feel free to use whatever you like. Use code dot in order to open your project. So we have this basic to React app template. You can type npm start in order to run your web application and see what your current website looks like. Feel free to use the terminal in the IDE if you want but I am using the other one. Okay, cool. So first things first, let's set up some basic stuff. Go into package.json and make sure you have all of these dependencies in there. Make sure they are installed by typing npm install. Anytime you use npm install, you need to make sure that you restart your server. You can do that by pressing Control C, Y, and then just do npm start all over again. All right, now go into index.html and make sure to paste this link here for font awesome icons. Remember that header I talked about earlier? Let's add the code for that. You don't need a header, but it looks good with the sidebar we are making. So yeah. You can get this code from my blog post, or if you want to type it out, just pause here. Now, add a components folder inside of source. Add a navigationbar.js file paste the code into it, and save. Now go into app.js and import bootstrap, all the routing stuff, and of course, our header. While creating this video, I realized that I'm pretty sure Medium only lets you read a certain number of blog posts, so you may get locked out if you don't have a subscription. So if you need the code, remember that you can always just go to my GitHub repo. Delete everything out of the return and add react.fragment and router tags. Then simply add your header and let's see if it worked. Sweet, that is done. If there is a header for you, but it does not look like the one I showed you at the beginning of this video, try re-downloading the dependencies and restart your server. Also, make sure you are importing the bootstrap CSS file before all of your components. Routing is how you get from page to page, so put this here. It basically says, if on this path, render this component. Currently, this does not work because we do not have these components. So let's add these pages to make sure navigation will work. 
inside of source, create home.js. Paste the code in there. Create about.js and paste the code in there. Create no match.js and of course paste the code in there. The code inside of these are not important. I just put some random crap in there to make sure that we see a difference in the different pages. Now go into app.js and import these so that the routing gods will be happy. And look at that, we have different pages now. All right, we can actually create the sidebar now. I will try to explain this in more detail instead of just pasting the code in and leaving you to figure it out. Inside of components, create sidebar.js. We know we want to create a sidebar component and export it for use inside of app.js. So type export default class sidebar extends react.component. And you want a render method to return. This basically says, please export this as the default React component, and whatever we put inside of return will be rendered. Let's put side nav inside of return, and then let's create that side nav. Type out class side nav extends react.component. This basically just says, create a new component. Sometimes you will hear it called as a React component, or ES6 class, or just class component. Add, render, and return. So what do we want our side nav to look like? Well, we want a black bar to go down the screen. That means we are getting into the HTML and CSS area. I should let you know that I like to use styled components for styling in React. It is completely different from inline styles, so I recommend you follow along and not use your own styling. First, let's import styled components. This lets you make tags that control their own CSS. Now, create a styled side nav. Again, if you just want to copy and paste all of this code, I recommend checking out my blog post or GitHub repo in the description. I don't want to ramble on about CSS, so I'm going to paste this in. Just read my comments if you are confused on the CSS. Now, place the styled side nav into side nav and save. In order to see this, we now need to add it inside of app.js. Sweet, we have a sidebar. Now, Let's add some clickable icons. The way that I would like to do this is to have a nav item div, which holds a nav icon div. There may be a better way, but that is how I'm gonna do it. A lot of this will probably not make sense at first, but bear with me, it will all come together. So let's create the nav item component. Render, return, Inside of render type const active equals this.props. This gets the variable active out of props. If you do not know what props are, you better go Google it, friend. Inside of return, we'll put a styled nav item that has a prop of active equals active. In order to use navigation, we need to import some stuff. Now, add a link here with two, class name, and on click as the props. Two is the path to go to. Class name passes in the CSS for the font awesome icon, and on click will call the handle click method. Let's create that method. Create this arrow function like so. This gets path and on item click from nav items props and then calls on item click. Awesome. So this will not currently work. 
So let's do some more work. Add nav icon. I'm leaving it blank, but add any CSS you need. Create styled nav item. Add this CSS. The link tag uses an anchor, so the anchor selector is used. This is the only somewhat confusing part. It says using the active prop, decide which of these colors to choose. So the home page is currently active, make the home page icon white. So where is this nav item getting all these props from? Well, we haven't done that part yet, so let's do it. Go into side nav. We want side nav to be a stateful component. This is because it needs to store what the current path is, and based on that, decide which icon should be selected and colored white. Create a constructor. Do this. Create a state that holds the active path, which we will set to the home path for now, and items that holds the information for our selectable icons. I'm going to have three icons, so I'll just put these here. Do you remember earlier how we needed an on item click function to be passed into nav item as a prop? Let's create that now. All this says is change the active path by changing the state. And if you do not know, whenever you call set state, React will re-render your component, which will render the change to show you selected a different icon. One last thing, and life should be good. I generally recommend not going this long without checking for errors, but here I am doing just that. Going into render, get items and active path from the state. We want to render out all our nav items here inside of side nav. To do this, make a block. We will loop through all of the items using map. For each item, return a nav item with these props. Kapow! We now have a sidebar with nice looking navigation. However, there is still one issue. If you come to the web page, no matter what page it is, it always defaults to the home icon. So we need to change the active path in the constructor to the current path. Since sidebar is not inside of a route, that makes it a little bit more difficult, but not too bad. Import with router. Create a component using with router to wrap side nav. Because you did that, you now have access to props.location.pathName, which you did not have access to before. Now, use this component inside of sidebar instead of regular side nav. Save it and check. Cool beans. You can also add text to the nav items using basic HTML and CSS knowledge, but to keep it brief, I am not going to go over that. If you have any questions at all, please comment below and I'll see what I can do. I hope I was able to help you out today. If so, feel free to like and subscribe. Shmoji out.